I wanted to ask you, um, when you were, when you were like getting ready to leave that nine to five job and you, you did your, your process, your proof of concept here, you had your three months of, you know, 10 K a month. What was running through your mind? Like, how were you feeling? Were you feeling excited? Were you feeling nervous? <clears throat> what was, what were the emotions like during that point in time? Do you remember even, or was it a whirlwind? Yeah. So it all stemmed from, you had uh, Jason Drees on mm -hmm. your show. Um, so he was my coach before I, I'm no longer uh, partnered with him currently, but uh, before I used uh, Jason as my mindset and my five-year goal was to quit my job, travel around the world. And I thought it was going to take me five years. And then he said, hey, let's do it in six months. I said, oh, that's cute. Like, yeah, sure. Okay. But uh, through the coaching, like, I got my mindset bigger. And then I was like, okay, you know what? Like, sure, this is the goal, six months. So that puts me at July of next year. Like, let's do that. And then that's when the podcast hit. So what I tell people is you start with your vision. Like the vision is what creates the why. So I would recommend a book called Vivid Vision by Cameron Harold. And you go buy that book. And what, what it is, is you essentially create, you cast yourself out three years into the future and you write down what you want your life to look like in present tense. So you're going to, you're going to want to write, um, this is, you know, what a day in my life looks like. Here's how much income I'm making. Here's what my investments look like. Here's what my business looks like. My friendships, my relationships. Here's where I live. And you're essentially crafting out your dream life in three years and you're writing it in present tense. That, it works straight up because I did that and I had done that prior and I knew what I wanted, which puts you ahead of 99% of people because most people have no clue what the heck they want. If I walked up on the street to somebody and I said, hey, if I gave you a hundred million dollars right now, what would you do? Like, what would your life look like? They say, uh, uh, I don't know. That's why people that win the lottery go broke again because they don't know what that looks like for them. So once you craft this vision, then what I tell people, the big piece of tactic, like actionable and tact tactic advice that I can give you is be married to the end destination, but date the way you're going to get there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I can almost guarantee you that if you create this vision and you create this dream life of, of you doing this or doing that, and it's not for most, for most of you, it's probably not world travel, right? But if your dream life is creating a candle making company in Colorado, like you write that down and you plan what ways you're going to get there. You're like, I'm going to get there through X, Y, and Z. But really what ends up happening is you get there in a completely different way than you anticipated. Like, like I'm sure with you right too. Now, by the way, like how did you <laughs> yeah. know that I wanted to make a candle making company? In yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're just on a wavelength just telepathy. Right <laughs> just telepathy. But yeah, you know, I thought I was going to do multifamily real estate and that's going to be, that was going to be how I got there to where I wanted to be. I uh, realized I hated doing multifamily real estate. I just didn't want to do it. If you would have told me, hey, dude, you're going to create a podcast out of thin air and then that's going to be your entire business, I would have told you you're ridiculous. So be be very clear in the end destination, but be very flexible and open to how you get there. Yeah, I love that. And, you know, just for anybody listening, I'll put a link to Vivid Vision in the show notes and also Jason Drees' episode in case you want to go check that out too. Um, so, I mean... In terms of the vision, right, uh, that I found that like, so for me, I'm very future oriented. I'm very big picture. Um, and so that vivid vision for me is that's crucial. Like that's key. Mm -hmm. That's easy. That's where I'm like, you know, I can you do live that. there. Yeah. But my wife, on the other hand, for example, is very concrete, very now, like she's in the mm -hmm. present and a little bit in the past. And her past experience, she has a hard time filtering that uh, to, to create a bigger vision, some, you know, and, and mm -hmm. see a bigger life because, you know, for example, in business, uh, she has a hard time, you know, seeing business as being a great way to go and clings to her, her nine to five, you know, as a teacher because of our horrible experience we had in the past. 
right? Uh, where we bought this laundromat and ended up losing a lot of money and it felt very risky to her. And she did not like those. I, well, I didn't like those feelings we were having during those times either. Right. We didn't like yeah. those feelings. Uh, so, I mean, do you have any, I, and here's why I ask is because I do consulting calls all the time for people who are like, I've been, uh, you know, I've been thinking about buying a laundromat or I've been thinking about getting into real estate or whatever the case may be for a really long time and just have a hard time pulling that trigger. And I think a lot of the times it's because of that fear and it's also because mm -hmm. of past experience. It's because of these horror stories that you hear uh, of people peeing in your washing machine or whatever, uh, right? Do you have any advice for, for people who are having a hard time, you know, creating that vision or envisioning a life that's different, uh, you know, going forward? Sure. Uh, first question, do you think that that would be possible for somebody else to have? Mm -hmm. You know, so if I if I were to ask you, Jordan, to be like, hey, you know, you want to do you want to build a massive brand? Like if I was like when I talk to my girlfriend, I'll use it in this context as an example. She's the same way. She's like because she started her business and she thought that there was going to have some grand like she's never made more than $10,000 in a month. So she thought that she would just balloon up to that immediately in her business. And for anybody that is an investor or does business, they know it doesn't work like that. And so she got let down when she started her business. So now she's very opposed to doing this whole future thing. And she's like, I'm just going to do day to day. And what I told her is, hey, like you're doing coaching. She's an, she's a coach. She's a, a personal trainer and a holistic health coach. So I told her, I was like, Hey, Hey Bella, like, tell me if this is true or false. Like, are there people that are doing this that you want to do that are making like $10,000 a month doing what you want to do? She goes, yeah, uh huh. Of course. There's a lot. I was like, are there people that are out there that are making a hundred thousand dollars a month doing exactly what you want to do? She goes, Yeah. I was like, are there people making a million dollars a month doing what you want to do? She goes, yeah, you know, there's a couple out there. I was like, okay, so you agree with me that it's possible? And she's like, yes. I'm like, okay, then why is it not possible for you? Mm -hmm. And then it becomes, then you see what the real conversation is. And it's a self, self-worth and it's a self-esteem play. Mm -hmm. Because you have a mental block to where you don't think that you deserve to have that kind of success or that you don't deserve to have that kind of achievement. But the irony is I spend every single day talking to uh, these multimillionaire entrepreneurs. I talk to billionaires. I talk to guys in the 150 million, 180 million. And the irony for all of you listening, they have that too. Mm -hmm. The only difference between them and us is that they power through that and they still take massive gobs of action. Mm -hmm. That's the only difference. They, they have that sitting in the back of their head, but they still continuously act and move forward and push through that 